Today, Bear County commissioners voted to pay a private company to help register more voters, despite the threat of a lawsuit from Texas Attorney General Ken Paxton. The News 4 I team's Jay Avila was at the hearing where members of the public and the county elections administrator also spoke against the deal. Robert and Mandy, the Attorney General's office says the county paying a vendor to mail voter registration forms to people who might be ineligible would violate state law. Many of the speakers complained the company receiving the contract has ties to Democratic Party organizations. They have an agenda. A long line of conservative speakers who say they're concerned about election integrity testified against a contract that would pay $392,000 to a firm called Civic Government Solutions, or CGS. This county is $2.5 billion in debt, and this money should not be spent on a partisan project. Outgoing elections administrator Jackie Callanan testified the county has never had this kind of contract, and her staff is already overwhelmed with forms from other organizations working to register voters. In some cases, the information is wrong, which confuses and angers voters. This application is made out for her sister and her sister's name. Her sister passed away 10 years ago. This woman came in and literally threw this at us. The CEO of Civic Government Solutions denied his company favors Democrats, but he acknowledged another one of his organizations works primarily for progressive candidates and causes, and he has made pro-Democrat comments on his blog. How do you explain some of your blog comments that were obviously partisan? Uh, my personal views are that like, I support lots of candidates. There are case, occasions where I've like, worked very closely with Democrats running for office. I also have a lot of friends who are Republicans who run for office. I help them too. It is emphatically true that he is partisan, that his organizations are partisan. He's getting data from taxpayers. CGS has contracts with Travis and Dallas counties to register voters, but its contract with Harris County is now on hold. In the end, commissioners voted three to one to go forward with the contract, with Commissioner Tommy Calvert abstaining. An attorney advising the commissioner said he doesn't think the attorney general's office could successfully sue the county. He said he believes state law allows the elections administrator to pay for voter registration activity. For the News 4 I-Team, I'm Jay Avila.